So today I want to share with you how I personally screen for stocks using M1 Finance and Seeking Alpha. Um, M1 Finance is, is very poor in their research and information about, about stocks. So you really need to have another source um, to look at valuations and reports and, and dividend, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So here today I'm going to focus on, because I'm mainly focused on myself personally, in dividend stocks. So we're going to look at a couple of them. But I'm going to show you how to, you can screen in M1 Finance for a preliminary list. So we'll go to the Research tab, go to Stocks, um, and over here you can filter your, your uh, selection. So I like to look for stuff that's you know fair valued so I, I go to a 5 minimum PE 15 maximum let's say I want to look for a dividend yield of 5% minimum 7% maximum and that'll filter in it shows you have 74 total stocks so um, you look right on top is AT&T with almost a 6% dividend yield PE ratio of 14.6 and the other stock I want to key in on, if it came into this screen, is going to be, wow, it didn't even come into this screen, but it's going to be Kraft Heinz. I'm kind of surprised. Let's see why didn't it. Oh, this is why. It does not have a P.E. ratio. When, it, when a stock has no P.E. ratio, that means they're essentially... Um, losing money but it does have a 6.27 percent dividend yield but if this is all you focus on like for instance AT&T you go to there a 6 percent dividend yield 14.6 PE fairly valued I'd say but you look at their five-year performance and it's pretty much flat so you know, but they paid consistent dividends and consistent rising dividends. But to look at it a little more deeper, um, I like to go over to Seeking Alpha. And so my preliminary screen is finding ones with uh, fair PEs and high dividend yields um, that are major companies. So once I find those, um, I, I'm just going to contrast two ways of um, of looking at stocks. So you can look at AT&T and on Seeking Alpha it shows instead of the AT&T 14.6 PE what I like about Seeking Alpha is most of the time they'll show you PE and right here forward. What that means is it's, it's showing you the PE based on uh, next year's estimates so if you look at AT&T today you're paying 14.6 times price to earnings but next year if they meet their estimates you're paying 9.6 times your price to earnings so that means that um, the earnings are in a growth path mainly um, what I also like about this and, and is you can look at dividends and you can look at what the dividend yield is is six percent what they pay out per share annually their payout ratio which is how much they pay out of their earnings to shareholders and their growth rate so now this growth rate it's not two percent you're not going to get a two percent increase on your dividend yield you're going to get a two percent increase this is their average two percent increase on their payout not the yield so if if they were to increase their uh, payout next year by two percent Let's take a look at what it would be. 204 times 
2.13%. So you get uh, another four cents or another penny on top of um, the 51 cents. And if you look in the dividend history, you can see how they've tracked that pretty, pretty, pretty well. And they've grown that dividend since 1996. It just keeps on going. It goes up slightly. It's been going up a penny for a long, long time. And so are they going to stop that? I doubt it. Um, will they increase it from there? I doubt that too. But at least you have the stability of the growth. Now to contrast this, um, let's look over at a company like Kraft Heinz. And a lot of people think, oh, that's a defensive stock like AT&T in a sense. But they've been in a tailwind. Well, I shouldn't say tailwind. They've been in a headwind um, in their earnings for uh, at least a year. But if you look at their dividends, like you'll come over here to dividends, and it looks like, at first glance, like it's very similar. Whoops, what did I do? There we go. Okay, it's very similar to um, AT&T. They have a similar payout ratio. Um, they have a 4% uh, growth rate. And it looks like, you know, it might be a good value. But this is deceiving. Because if you look here at the dividend history, and you go to all, it looks like they grew it pretty well for the first couple years. And then just this past year, they cut it. Or this year, they cut it. So this could be deceiving from somebody looking and not looking a little deeper. Um, if you look at the, the five-year chart of, of Kraft Heinz, it's just been abysmal. Now, you could, you know, beyond that, screening for dividends and, and valuations and PE, you can look at news here, and you can see uh, any news that have come out. Like, for instance, look, Kraft Heinz, earning per share beats by 17 cents, beats on revenue. Then why the heck did it go down? Well, there's other things that like guidance, forward guidance, they might have dropped. Uh, they might have written off things. Look, minus 3% after organic sales decline. Um, so on the surface, it might look good. Might have a good dividend yield. Um, this one even has a good forward PE. I mean, Kraft Heinz could be a good contrarian play um, but I don't I don't I don't trust it I, I like the stability a little bit better in AT&T um, so that's my that's how I look for dividend stocks um, preliminary and um, you know of course you should go deeper into into reading some of their filings and things like that to to be sure that's what you want to do but that's how I do it it's pretty simple um, M1 finance you know I, I wish they'd have a little bit more um, research a little more information on the stocks that you're that you're buying um, I think that's kind of a disservice to new investors because you could just come in here and just go oh click 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 create a pie and you're off to the races and you have no idea what you're investing in so that's all i got for today um if you like please share comment I'd love to hear comments thank you for subscribing i'd love to be putting out more m1 videos uh, in the future um yeah thanks for watching have a good day Bye bye